Hello, this is Overlord Bo, back with another ship review video, and today we'll be looking at the new Tier 9 Royal Navy Battlecruiser, the Duncan. Now, the Duncan will be going into early access this patch, coming on the 13th or the 14th. To obtain her, you must gamble for her in the doubloon bundles or blue crates, costing anywhere between 1,000 to 70,000 doubloons, depending upon um, on your luck. If you get lucky and the Duncan shows up in the first few bundles, you can skip the majority of the grind for a very low price. But otherwise, don't waste your money if you're trying to gamble for her. Again, this is a Tech Tree Line ship. There's no need to pay for money to get her. Again, this is a Tech Tree Line ship. There's no need to pay money to get her. Again, um, as I said in the St. Vincent that video that went out yesterday, I do recommend the line. So again, I do recommend the Duncan. So I'll be going over the build uh, for the Duncan uh, shortly. Now, moving on, uh, I will showcase the ship in this video, and at the end, I'll go over my thoughts on the ship. Now, let's talk about the recommended builds for the ship. I have two builds uh, to go over, uh, as I was saying earlier. Uh, one standard battleship tank build, and the other is a more uh, unique build. Now, the first build, uh, the normal Royal Navy build being shown on the top right, is a normal BB build, safe but effective. Pretty much a more typical uh, tank build for battleships. Uh, now the second build should be showing up is going to be the furious build which is now being shown on the top right it's recommended for more experienced players you're kind of taking away some of your survivability to be able to put out more damage now due to her super heal and good ap duncan can take both the furious and heavy ap uh with the furious build to significantly increase her firepower for a minor hint to her, to her survivability for players wanting a safer option, they can take the typical tank BB build uh, other battleships lines use. Now let's go over the armor and survivability. The Duncan has a, a 75,200 HP, and now for the armor, which we should be showing on the top right, it has a 25 millimeter bow and stern with a 32 millimeter deck with a 23% uh, torpedo protection. Now the ship does have above water citadel uh, with a worse torpedo protection for the tier nine BBs. Now the Duncan has an average HP pull and poor armor scheme. It seems bad at first glance, but she can prove surprisingly tanky uh, thanks to her super heals. If facing only a few ships, uh, they can easily live up to the Royal Navy battleship meme, uh, constantly reprinting the ship even while it's being shot out from underneath. Unfortunately, her armor scheme is very weak, uh, so she dies very quickly if her super heal isn't available. Now, Citadel hits and Torpedo hits can also cripple her ability to heal back, so players must always be careful when showing broadside or facing Torpedo tor uh, Destroyers. Now, let's go over the primary guns. You get three triple 419mm uh, guns with two in the front and one in the mid, with a 19.7km base range and a 31 second base reload. It has a 1.6 Sigma with a battle cruiser dispersion. The HE shell damage is 6,150 with a 70 millimeter uh, HE pen with a 47% fire chance. Note the normal 1 6th HE pen and not the 1 4th. The AP shell damage is 13,050 with an overmatch of 29 millimeters. It has the normal ricochet angles and it has a 0 0.015 fuse time, which is the short fuse time. Now the turret angles can fire broadside 30 degrees off of the bow and stern. It cannot fire directly aft or the rear because whoever designed the ship was an idiot. Now it has the same guns as the Lion and Conqueror. It uses the battle cruiser dispersion, but with notably lower Sigma. The 419 millimeter AP overmatches 27 millimeter cruiser armor, but not the 30 millimeter seen on tier 10 cruisers. HE is good with the high fire chance, but 15% weaker alpha than Lion per individual shells. Now, it does have unusual turret arrangement, very restrictive rear firing arcs. Now, the dispersion is going to be shown on the top right, so you can take a look at that for about 10 seconds. And now, the Duncan's guns are very similar to her tier 9 BB counterpart, the Lion. While they fire the same shells and have the same ballistics, they differ in accuracy in HE shell hitting power. The HE difference is especially notable as Duncan shells deal 15% less damage, but at least she retains the high fire chance her battle cruiser accuracy more than makes up for as she hits more shells on target. With her short fuse, uh, fuse timer shells, 
and good accuracy. Her AP is extremely deadly against cruisers. Uh, her only problem is the awkward kiting angles as she cannot fire directly to her rear. Overall, her gun should feel familiar and even more comfortable to use for veterans of the Royal Navy battleship line. Now let's move on to the secondary armament. For the secondary armament, you get six twin 152mm slash 50 guns uh, that do 2,150 HE damage and have a 12 second reload with a 25mm pen. Now, the other set of seconds are eight twin 113mm slash 45. Uh, they do 1,700 HE damage with five second reload and have a 19mm pen. Now, the, the base range is seven kilometers with the max range being 10.5 kilometers. Now, they do get the normal baby uh, secondary accuracy, like most BBs, uh, it does have a poor uh, secondary performance. So don't invest in the secondaries, use your tactical nuke uh, torpedoes instead. Now for the torpedoes, you get two single 622 millimeter torpedoes with a 10 kilometer range that do 29,200, uh, sorry, 367 damage. And these have a 55 second reload and, and go 67 knot speed. Now these do fire off the front of the ship now, funny thing about these torpedoes is that they are pretty much in the hole or the pretty much in the hole of the ship, so underwater. And how they fire is they fire straight forward and wherever you're aiming, it'll kind of do like a snake wave or turn toward the direction where you aimed. So it'll do these weird wavy lines, which look pretty, pretty funny, or you can do some cool tricks with them. It's pretty interesting. I just wanted to talk about that for a bit. Now, the Duncan's nuclear torpedoes is surprisingly effective when rushing enemies at close quarters. Uh, she can remain bow wind to the enemy, presenting a smaller target while charging full speed and avoiding showing her own broadside. Not many situations will need these torpedoes, but the few that do will make them all the worthwhile. It's also hilarious how most DDs can die in one hit from those torpedoes. Now let's move on to the A defense. You get three inner and one outer flak, with the far DPS being 81, the mid being 504 and the near being 249 continuous damage. While good for a tier 9 BB, uh, tragically Duncan's A often has to fight off uh, tier 10 CVs and super CV air attacks. In other words, uh, good luck and uh, just dodge. At least her A is effective against uh, tier 8 CVs. Now you do also get the DFAA, so you also put that as well um, for whenever you're dealing with CVs. Now for the anti-submarine airstrikes, you get uh, three stored airstrikes uh, with two depth charges per, per airstrike. Now the bomb damage does 2300 with an airstrike range of 10 kilometers and a reload time of 35 seconds. It has the same depth charges as the Lion. Uh, her three charges give her a greater chance of hitting submarines letting other players follow up on hitting the oil spill. Though she can strike more times, each individual strike does less damage. Still, she is one of the more versatile BBs regarding anti-sub uh, airstrikes. Now let's move on to the maneuverability. You have a max speed of 32 knots base uh, with the 40.7 knots with all the speed modifiers added with brisk, speed flag and such. Now, the turning radius is 910 meters with a rudder shift time of 16.6 seconds. It does get the improved acceleration similar to the Royal Navy DDs and light cruisers. It is the second fastest BB at her tier, second only to the Georgia. Now, it does have an average rudder shift time, slightly worse than the average um, larger turning radius. It does have the fastest acceleration among BBs due to her Royal Navy acceleration and speed boost. Now, Duncan is quite maneuverable thanks to her high top speed and improved acceleration. Her turning radius and rudder shift are unremarkable, but our amazing speed is more than enough to impress. Like the other Royal Navy battle cruisers, she can quickly reposition faster than almost any other BB in the game. Now for the concealment. For the concealment, you get a sea base of 14.9 kilometers with the air being 11.6 kilometers. Now when you build into it, you get a 12.1 
kilometer uh, best surface and you get a 9.4 kilometer best air detection. Now the Duncan is tied with the line for the stealthiest tier 9 BB. Combined with her high mo mobility, she can quickly reach flanking positions and create crossfires, uh, potentially forcing the enemy away and creating openings. Now let's move on to the consumables. For the consumables, you get a standard BB DCP with a 15 second immunity period and an 80 second reload. Now you do get a super heal repair party, which heals 2% of damage for 20 seconds. 40% uh, base is for the heal if it is pretty much for the heal. Now you do get three charges base. Now the standard engine boost is a plus 8% max speed for 120 seconds and a reload of 120 seconds. And you do get three charges of these. You also get a standard DFAA with a plus 50% continuous uh, DPS, plus 300% black A damage, with a 40 second active time and an 80 second reload with three charges. Now the Duncan is the first Royal Navy to access, uh, Royal Navy Battle Cruiser to access the Super Heal. Uh, everything is standard uh, for the line. Now let's go over my overall um, overview or performance of the ship for the Duncan. Um, I would say it's a medium dash high skill floor ship with a high skill ceiling. Duncan is the pen, pen, the penultimate Royal Navy battle cruiser in the Tech Tree line. On top of the incremental tier improvements, Duncan can, carries a super heal in place of the normal heal, as well as having a forward firing torpedo angle. While this doesn't change her play style, these improvements help a lot in her execution and even gives her some new tactics in a few niche situations. Like the previous battle cruisers, Duncan excels at punishing cruisers with her powerful short fuse AP rounds. While they remain effective against other battleships, Duncan lacks the armor to last in a head-on slugging match. With a vulnerable citadel and large sections of 25mm slash 32mm armor, and of course a large pole size, Duncan is ill-suited for direct engagements. Duncan is best played as a mobile BB, similar to the French BB line, staying between 11 to 12 kilometers to 17 kilometers for the optimal effectiveness. She does excel at flanking and exploiting gaps in the enemy formation, her high top speed and excellent concealment pr proving uh, well, sorry, well suited for the task. If she rolls the flank early and gets into the enemy spawn, she can end the game before the enemy can even respawn. She can get into close range and has too many nuclear torpedoes as her trump card, dealing heavy damage to any target they hit. Be careful though in which target you rush as most BBs will overmatch her 25mm bow armor. Overall, I would say Duncan provides an interesting take on the flaking BB archetype. While she is very weak in head-on engagements, Duncan is amazingly effective at outpositioning the enemy, potentially creating openings in the enemy formation. Compared to the French BBs, she is more fragile, but more than compensates with accurate guns. Players who can create and exploit these openings will be very successful in both this ship and the rest of the battle cruiser line. Now let's say for randoms, I would say the ship is about above average to good. She is strongest against cruisers thanks to her short uh, fuse AP and her high speed. However, she is fragile for a BB and requires good player situational awareness to keep her alive into the late game. It doesn't help that tier 9 is dominated by Musashis and Georgias, and it's not uncommon for Duncan to pull at least one of them each match. Still, she has potential due to her powerful AP and mostly accurate guns as long as she doesn't get deathstruck. Now I would say ranked is poor. Uh, Duncan is unsuited for the tier 9 meta dominated by overpowered battleships and destroyers. She struggles too much against both classes to be considered good, especially at higher skill levels. Now that is going to be my overview video for the Duncan. Um, again, you, you will be able to get the ship early access um, starting on the 13th or the 14th. But again, if you want to get into it, as if you want to gamble, you're more than welcome to. But again, it's a tech tree ship. There's really no reason to pay money for it. 
Um, if you've seen the first cheap bundles, sure, but you can get it at the first 1,000 doubloon cost or 70,000. Again, it's totally up to you, but again, I'm not going to endorse loot crating. That's not my thing. I don't like gambling, so... Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions and concerns, uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this replay and enjoyed the video. Um, I'm trying to make sure I've been trying to fix my audio as well. So if you guys could leave me a comment saying, hey, the audio is good hey, the audio is bad. Uh, definitely let me know there because I'm trying to adjust it. And sometimes on my end, it sounds good. But on your guys end, it sounds bad. So definitely let me know in that regard. I'd really appreciate it. But yep, this is Overlord Bo, and I will talk to y'all later. Oh, big stretch, dude. Oh, big stretch, yeah.